Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you another Scrape FX Design Team project. So I'm working in my small dilutions journal and I have this new rice paper here which is called Sirens um, which is new for this month and I'm going to use half of that. I've also got some other rice paper here. Um, I think it's called Mesh and I've got a little bit of leftover classifieds from a previous project this month so I'm going to use some of that and I'm going to start off by gluing it into my book with some matte medium I can never remember what that stuff is called okay so I'm gluing those little bits in and I've got another little bit to put up the top here and then I've got some of this dotty paper, um, which is just some gift wrap. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there as well. So I get that stuck down. Okay, so now that it's nice and dry, what I'm actually going to do is put a little bit of a whitewash gesso over the back of those um, those pieces there with the mesh and the wrapping paper and a little bit over the classified so I can push it back further into the background so once I get that dry I can start adding in some color and I've got out my Jane Davenport layer cake paints again and I'm just going to swish some color around here with some green and yellow and blue to make some turquoisey background color happening um, which I think would be nice I'm just feeling a little bit bluish greenish today I really like how these colors mixing together so I'm just doing a bit of a light wash and I've also done a really light wash over the siren as well now to tie it all together I've got a tiny um, paper artsy stamp that I'm just stamping around a little bit around the edges and this is another one which is just a little script um, before I start adding in my bigger scrap effect stamps and I've got these super cool circle ones here um, and I really like those they're quite well used so I'm just going to put some of those in the background as well now I've also grabbed out a distress ink in I think it's peacock feathers and I'm using one of the mark making one of the new mark making stamps to put some crosses in the background so that looks really cool so because my ink is a bit wet I'm just going to give it a bit of a dry with my heat gun before I start moving on to her eyes so I'm just putting a little bit of white Posca into the whites of her eyes a little bit of turquoise into the eyeballs some um, pink pen on her lips and her cheeks but I put a little bit too much on her cheeks so I'll knock that back a little bit with a white Posca and it's still not 100% so we'll fix that in a minute so but in the meantime I'm just going to highlight some of the lines again with the black pen so while I'm thinking about what I was going to do next I decided to do a hair so I've got out a Jane Davenport mermaid marker and this is like a sparkly glittery one which looks really quite pretty you could probably see it in the thumbnail and in the close-ups so I'll get that bit there dry and I've got out my Inktense pencils. I'm going to add a few more strands into her hair. I don't think I'll activate these ones. I'll just leave them as pencil lines. And then I'm going to add a little bit more detail around her face just with um, some purple and pink pencils. A little bit of white. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to add in some flesh coloured um color as well so these are nouveau watercolor pencils um yeah so kind of a skin skinny color there add a little bit more into the cheeks and i am going to activate this little bit but it turns out a little bit too pink so i'm going to have to mop some of it up which you see me doing there and then i realized oh i forgot to do her arm <laughs> uh, so i'll get her dry and then and then i better fix up this arm um, with the same sort of pencil so the pink and the purple with the white and the skin color which I did already do the skin color there we go activate that bit and then mop it up a little bit there we go that looks a bit better fix up the whites of her eyes okay so I've got this um, craft 
quote um, here, which I think is from the steampunk collection that came out earlier this year. And it says, without deviations from the norm, progress is not possible. And it's from Frank Zappa. So I'm going to glue that into my page there as well. Last thing that I'm going to do is add in some white splats. And I added a little bit of gold sparkle into my um, white paint. But that didn't really work so, out so well. So anyway, not to worry. And here's my finished page. So I really hope you have enjoyed my little adventure in my art journal today with the new sirens rice paper um, i hope i have inspired you to get a little bit creative and until next time please like and subscribe and i'll see you later bye